Hey guys, it's Razorblade Apple Films here, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of my knife collection. So, as of now, these are all that I have. As you can see, the fixed blades are down there, the folders are up there. We're going to be going through them uh, one by one, but first I'd like to say uh, this is how it looks right now as of September 2015, but I have a passion for knives, I love collecting them. Uh, I always have, I, there, I'll show you some of the ones that I used to have like since I was a kid, like right around that area but uh, because of that I'm always collecting knives so this collection is going to be continuously growing so I'd kind of like to make this video just to see how small it was in the beginning because in the coming months years or whatever I'm definitely going to be getting more knives and uh, yeah I just wanted to make this video mainly for the subscribers to point out which knives you want me to review next because I reviewed that Coast LX311 which is an amazing knife but uh, yeah, I was kind of wondering which one you guys might want to see reviewed, so leave that in the comments. So let's get into it. All right, the first knife is a Schrade fighting knife. I'm probably not going to be reviewing this one because it was my grandpa's. Uh, the handle, the, it had a stacked leather handle and it was falling apart, so he wrapped it in electrical tape. Uh, but as you can see, it's a, like a rat tail tang, just like the K-bars. It's got a pommel right here, oh, not a pommel, like a finger guard right here. And uh, it's kind of bent, I don't know if that's on purpose, but I can only assume that it's made of some type of carbon steel because of how rusty it is, and it's really sharp. Like, it was able to get sharp again pretty easily. So yeah, that's the first one. Next we have a Buck Reaper. This is a very underestimated knife. I don't really see that many reviews on it online. Uh, I saw Gideon's Tacticals review, and his was pretty good. And uh, I'd like to review this. Like I said, I think it's pretty underrated. I'm pretty sure Buck still makes this. I'm just going to give you a look at it. I'm not going to be doing little mini reviews. I'm just going to be kind of going through these knives, just showing you all of them. Uh, next, we have one of the best looking knives in my collection. Uh, I got this in uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works when I was up in Tennessee. Uh, this is a Buck 105 Pathfinder. I think it's the Pathfinder. Uh, normally these come with a black finola candle and like silver guards, but this one is Cocobolo wood with gold. I think it looks a lot more classy. Alright, next I have the classic K-Bar USMC fighting knife. Everyone knows what this knife looks like, probably. Uh, if you can see the blade, I've used it a lot. Probably as of now, my favorite fixed blade I have is the BK-15, designed by Ethan Becker and made by K-Bar, made in USA. Uh, here's the sheath it comes with. It's got double buttons. Not the best sheath ever, but it does its job. Alright, next we got a monster knife. This is a BK9, designed by Ethan Becker and made by K-Bar. It's a BK9 combat bowie. Barely even fits in frame. I uh, stripped the coating off of it. I'm definitely going to be doing a review on this, no matter what. Because uh, this thing is just a beast. I got a lot of damage on it. Very sharp. Which all my knives are pretty sharp, but this one's really sharp. Alright, I'm going to be going through these pretty fast uh, because I don't really use these that much. These are kind of just like, uh, you know, these are just here. Uh, they're not even worth that much to sell, so I just keep them. This is a Winchester lockback knife. I don't even really know the name of it. It's got a stainless steel handle. I actually really like the look of it, honestly. It kind of reminds me of a Spyderco design knife with a choil right here. Uh... This is a frost cutlery little lockback knife. Uh, not much to say about it. I've used it a lot actually, and it gets pretty sharp. It's made in Japan. I might actually do a review on this knife. I don't know what it's called though. They're pretty much the same size. Uh, this is a Buck 373. Uh, it's got like uh, imitation bone handles. It's not the best knife ever. Made in China. Steel kind of sucks. 
I honestly wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> uh, now we have an old Camillus logback. We use this a lot. This is like one of the first knives I had when I didn't really collect knives that much and I just used them for anything. Yeah, it's been through a lot. Uh, and it's very comparable to this old Gerber knife, which is probably, I think this is the first knife I ever got. Uh, and there's a name for this knife, it's a pretty classic knife, but I have no idea what it's called, because I really don't like Gerber, <laughs> and I don't really like lockbacks that much. But yeah, there it is, they're pretty comparable. Uh, handles in horrible shape. But out of the two, I prefer the Camillus. It gets a lot sharper, holds its edge, and doesn't have any blade play, unlike the Gerber. So here are some of my better folders that I actually use a lot. Uh, leave down in the comments which one you want to be reviewed first, but I'm probably going to be reviewing all of these eventually. And like I said, I'm going to have more soon anyway. Uh, so yeah. Alright, this knife needs no introduction. This is the Buck 110 Folding Hunter by Buck, obviously. I <laughs> uh, use this one a lot. Blade's not in the best of shape. But it's, it's held up. It's a really heavy duty folder. It's probably the biggest one I have. Next we have a Coast LX311. I've already done a review on this knife. Really hard to use. Cheap knife. Uh, stands up to abuse, still really sharp, love this knife. Alright, this is the knife I've been using the most recently. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a review on this next, but you know, if you wanted something before that, I could definitely do that. Uh, so this, is, yeah, this is the SE Zancudo. frame lock made in Taiwan alright now we're getting into the spider codes uh, I've got a couple of spider codes in mind that I want to order because as of as of right now I'm kinda liking spider code a lot like I'm getting into a huge spider code phase but uh, the first spider code I got was a spider code Delica I sold it mainly because I didn't really have the money to get something I wanted more. I, I liked it a little bit, but uh, I didn't like it as much as the Spyderco Sage, so I sold that so that I could have uh, some money to get a Sage, but now I kind of regret it and I kind of want a Delica back, so I'm probably going to order another one. But here's the Spyderco Sage. It's probably the most expensive knife I own at the moment. It was $125, or maybe $120 on Blade HQ. Uh, really nice looking. It's got carbon fiber scale handles, or uh, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. Uh, what's the word? Laminate handles. Liner lock flicks out really smooth. Wire pocket clip. Very classy knife. All right, and the last one I have to show you today is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. G10 handles and a compression lock. the blade looks like. Alright, so here are all my folders. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you want to see reviewed. Alright, and there are all my fixed blades. Uh, sorry about just filming my floor. Uh, none of these would have fit on my display board, so it was just easier to do it like this. And sorry if the video was rushed. But yeah, here are the fixed blades. Uh, the video was rushed, kind of. I wanted to take it a little bit slower and do a little mini review of each knife, which I kind of did. But uh, my camera is actually only on 7% right now, so <laughs> I forgot to charge it. But, you know. So there's all my fixed blades. Uh, let me know in the comments, like I said, if you want any, any of these reviewed. Alright, and as soon as I got done making my video, I forgot that I had another knife that I didn't show you. Whoops. Uh, this is my keychain knife. This is a little Kershaw chive, 
use it a lot. As you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great little knife too. I might review that too. Frame lock, and it's got a flipper. Pretty nice. Not the best sheath ever, but yeah. Nah, All right, so here, 